What a special day today, guys. And the reason for that is because I'm going back to Jamaica and I'm really happy about it. I mean, that was a good vacation here in Dominican Republic, but I have to tell you that I really miss Jamaica. I really miss the simplicity. I really miss the culture. I really miss the people. I really miss the food. I really miss actually everything about Jamaica. So today is the day. I'm going back. So I have a flight right now. It's around what time? Let's see. Let's see. Why, why I'm thinking too much? Okay. Now it's 11 o'clock, 23. My flight is going out at 6.20. So it means I have to be like around three to two hours before at the airport. So let's just do it, guys. Let's just, okay. All my stuff is already packed, as you can see. My bag. And uh, yeah, I had like a really nice apartment here, as you all can see. This is like the jacuzzi, a nice bed. Uh, you can see I can work here, everything. A nice TV screen also. And this is the shower. This is, by the way, what you get for $50 in Dominican Republic, in Santo Domingo. This is the capital of Dominican Republic. And uh, hey, let's just start the day. I'm going to drink a coffee, not coffee. I don't drink coffee already for two to three weeks. Three weeks, I think, like almost three weeks that I don't drink coffee. So I change it with the chocolate, with the cacao tea, how they call it in chocolate tea in Jamaica. So it's a cacao drink. This is what I'm gonna drink. It's not a coffee, but I'm used to say coffee, you know? <laughs> it's very interesting because already like my brain, you know? Let's drink coffee on the morning. What do you do if not drinking coffee on the morning? So no, it's not gonna be coffee. It's gonna be, let's just close the, too much noise from the outside. So it's not gonna be coffee. I'm gonna eat something. And then from there, straight ahead to Jamaica. It's only a one hour flight, something like that. It's really short flight. It's really close to Dominican Republic. And in general, I don't know if you know guys, all the Caribbean's islands are pretty close to each other. So come on, let's go, let's do it. So we are on the way to the airplane and actually this is the first time guys that I walk like that to the airplane usually the bus is taking us just to there but this is the first time that I'm walking through these uh, carts that actually leads the luggages to the airplane and this is the way to Jamaica come on That's it guys, on the airplane, on the way. Haven't uh, departure yet, but uh, it's very, very close. As you can see guys, mission accomplished. We are in the airport. I'm going to my place right now after I'm going through immigration and uh, that's it. Going to sleep tomorrow, another day, new day. All right guys, so we are in a place that I actually don't know the name of it, but I'm with a good friend called Jan. Hi. And she took me here. And how it's called again? Mountain Spring. Mountain Spring. And we have a car. Oh, I didn't expect a car here. Yeah, people live up here. Ah, people live there. Yeah. Ah, so it's exactly like Jack's Hills. Exactly, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know. So two cars, if you can see that, guys, it's very difficult for two cars to like, or mm -hmm. to go through here. Like, like in uh, Jack's Hills, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know what they do there? Like they're like, I mean, I believe that they do it here as well. Like they just okay. horn. 
yeah yeah when they're and coming around yeah, corners like yeah. because there are some places that you don't have any right. sight any eyesight exactly yeah so you cannot like take those deep deep beautiful time exactly mm -hmm. and you know guys that it's really difficult to actually walk and talk All but <laughs> yeah with the breath and everything <laughs> but you you wanted to be a youtuber right or you wanted um, to be just a content creator like uh as soon as i decide what genre i'd stick to okay then i can answer that question okay because i have several ones flying around in my head but i don't want to do anything that it's already there i want something new and fresh you want to be like in unique in a way right yeah okay something that's unique to me and i know that whatever i do no one can say like oh you know i did that first you know or if I do get it from someone, I want to be able to at least can add them and mention them, you know? It's very interesting what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it's very interesting in the terms of... Um, there are a lot of people that are doing the same on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I think that what is really matter is like your energy. Right, that's true. So you can do the same, but people, one, barely people will watch him. Mm -hmm. And the other one, people will watch him like crazy yeah, just yeah. because he has like super good energy. energy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Exactly. That's very true. So you are not like a doctor on the way to be a doctor, or you just finished like. Huh? Are you mean right now? Yeah. I'm a doctor. I'm finished. You're finished. You just need to yeah. know what you're specializing. Yeah. Okay. But my channel would not be anything medical. Okay. I may give a few medical advice here and there depending on what's going on. Okay. But it won't be medical, nothing medical. I'm trying to You're not gonna put that. like Dr. Jan. Like nope. this is not gonna <laughs> No, nope. I wouldn't even advertise and say I'm a doctor, there's no way. I wouldn't even nope. uh, I thought it could be like a nice idea, you know? Doctor nah, I think nah. give you a lot like today, but mm -mm. not on this I've okay. No, we're gonna keep that to nine to five, uh, Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that stays right there. Hi. Yeah. And you have some ideas in your mind, like what did you want to do? For you too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Like maybe just a hint, you know, like some direction of what did you think about, like what did you want? I'm gonna have to think about that one more. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah. But. I've thought about it in a while. But I can tell you for right now that you feel super natural with the camera. I don't feel like, really? like, yeah, super natural. I mean, like, this is the same conversation as we had before. Like, yeah. I don't feel that something really changed. Wait, here. I'm sorry. Is that Ariad? Hey. <laughs> wow, guys, this is so steep. Look at that, just. Yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we, we're actually, like, I feel like I'm walking on the moon, you know? Like, yeah. it's like, it's gonna get a bit steeper on that side. Even steeper? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is the way, guys. We are going. Sorry for exhaling into the <laughs> camera. I hope you still hear me that. Still good. But it's very good to do exercise. It's very important to do exercise. And, wow. So, what we were just saying before, that I feel that you are super natural with the camera. Like I don't feel that you feel like you change be when I open the camera. No, mm -mm. no. Definitely. I think like the challenge with the camera is more when you are by yourself. Maybe yeah. Trying when you're to like. like past people, you feel kind of awkward. Exactly. Yeah. And like also maybe in a way, um, thinking about what to say, you know, mm -hmm. because now you are on yourself. Mm -hmm. No one is communicating with you, right? And you just need to talk to exactly. the camera, and you get distracted by so many different things. Exactly. Yeah. So that's probably it for you. Doing it alone, that's probably the problem. It's just a matter of time, you know. As you practice it, you feel more comfortable with that. Yeah. And like, good morning. And like, it's getting really easy with mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. Like everything. Yeah. I mean. Wow, this is a beautiful place. Oh, look at that, guys. What is that? It's like a... Usually when it's rainy, I believe that there is water over there, no? It's like a whole river. Yeah, or... What is that river? It just dries up when it's not raining. All right. Yeah. Huh. And the sound is... Ooh. The sound of the water? Oh, yeah. It's oh, like too really strong? Good. No. No, it's really good. Yeah. You know that they say that sound of uh, water, the frequency of water, Mm -hmm. is one of the healing sounds that they have in nature like it's yeah. a really healing your body just mm -hmm. being near a river or something and just hear that sound yeah so 
serenity. Like how long we have until we get to the top? Um, maybe about not long at all, less than 10 minutes. Ah, okay. Less than. Okay, so it's a nice warm up. Yeah. Then we go to the gym. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are not on the top yet, guys. But see, we have a crazy view. Wow. You know what is that lake over there? That's Monadam. Monadam. Mm -hmm. What is that for? Fishes or? No, water collection. Water collection for like in the taps, like for drinking or? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. and then give it out. Oh, look at this house, guys. Over here. Mm -hmm. It looks like a mansion. I mean, yeah. this is an hotel or a house? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, this is it very has interesting. So many different floor, floor, floors yeah. look different, so I'm wondering if it's like different people put together. I'm not sure. Wow, it's very interesting if it belongs oh, to well, one I love person. This area here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Definitely. Kingston from here. One of the most beautiful views in Jamaica. Okay, so we have like another... Yeah, less than five minutes. Uh, another point over there, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. As in, no more view though. Ah, no more view. view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's the same view? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but mm -hmm. we get view. Okay, yeah. that's good. <clears throat> Perfect. I'm sweating and it's good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> so teach yeah. me about... Because, okay, this is... Remember to make a call after this, okay? Okay, no problem. Yeah. So, this is from what people sometimes... Okay, this is your natural hair, right? right. You told me. Mm -hmm. And this one is not a natural hair. As in, it's my natural hair, but mm -hmm. I bleached But you created it. it. I changed the color. Ah, you bleach. bleached it. Okay, right, yeah. like with with an oxygen, like oxygenize your hair, like in a way, right? Yeah, bleach? kinda, yeah. Kinda, okay. Mm -hmm. So, it's still your natural hair. Yes. So, everything is like your natural hair, yes. what you have on you. Mm -hmm. So, when you said dreads... Mm -hmm. What is that dreads? What does so, it mean? So, I don't even know how to explain it, but dreads are basically... So you start off with the twists, which are these. Which are these? So let's okay. say my hair was like pulled But these ones are not natural. This is something that you basically uh, no, this is connected. Natural. Ah, no, this is natural. this is all natural. So this like is... people with... So African-Americans, black people. Okay. They have the type of hair that, you know, it, not everybody wants to wear it out, meaning... Yeah, not like styled. afro. Yeah, not everybody wants an afro. Okay. So when they want to get it, you know, more suitable, more acceptable, okay. they would put it in twists. So they part the hair and they do some. So there is no extensions here. No, well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. No. Yeah. Because from what I heard. Because you can do it. You can put it in braids. Okay. And you have extensions that look like this. I got you. Because what from no, what this I. This is natural from where from what I know. But can I guarantee you no? But this is okay. <laughs> because from what I know, like all the women here, like they use extensions. Most women do, yeah. Well, not even most. It's a. But it's why? A why? Why? If they can use their natural hair, why would they use extensions? Well, there are different reasons. Some people use it as a protective style as well to protect their natural hair, like their own hair from the sun and other environmental elements. But it doesn't actually mix the opposite. It doesn't really ruin the hair because no, it's like, well, like it's really like pressing the air and like yeah. taking it backwards so but everything in moderation so you can't put braids in and leave them in for years you have to take them out wash your hair and that's how you would maintain okay. the health of your hair so basically but, mm -hmm, but some people may do it too tight at the roots and they end up breaking the hair from the roots that can happen as well okay yeah but all just depends wow this is like the electricity yeah, like, you can actually hear the electricity going through yeah, the wires the in there or something okay maybe yeah, just get burned them fried over, fried over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, right. like, so how I started my locks is that I started with these twists. So my hair was long; it was really puffy. It really? Was down to hair. Wow, I it want to just... see that. Have, <laughs> Did I they have I some have pictures? pictures? Yeah, I think okay. I may have a few pictures. And so, I wanted dreads because I was always wearing my hair in twists. So I'd pull my hair out, wash it, and I twist it back. And okay. I wash my hair, twist it back because I didn't want to have to deal with it on a daily basis. Okay. All right? So what I did is I because it's a lot of work if you don't right. do that. Yeah, exactly. So I'd put it in twists and I left it. So okay. every month I would wash it, but I wouldn't pull the hair out. I would just leave it. And then the way how my hair is is if you look up the types of hair, okay, they're on a grade of like between from one to four A to C. Okay. So I have four C here, which is the it's the, the thickness most, of the, these. It's the thickness. It's the most. It's not really the thickness it's more so the curl pattern of the hair so each strand ah, of your natural hair I'm gonna show you okay so you're talking about the natural hair type. natural hair right. okay not after what you do like yeah. 
So look at it oh, here. Oh, this is interesting. All right. So I would ah, be like around here. 4C. 4C. Between 4A and 4C. Everybody has like different types. All oh, right. But I'd be 4A, 4C. And this is how it would look. Okay. This right. is how it would look. Yeah, when... but her own looks more tamed. Mine would be... This is look like really a organized. A lot more puffy. Exactly. Mine would yeah. be a lot puffy. So there are people that actually their hair grows like that. Yes, and I'm one of them. And they don't, you don't need to do anything. It just go, grows like that and just get a little bit puffy, but... Yeah, well, it depends on the person. Some people wear it out, okay. some people don't. But where really? I work and stuff, that's not acceptable. It's not professional oh, to have it out like that. Really? So you have to do some type of taming, which would be it's to do the twist. professional. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. This is crazy that actually people mm -hmm. say about that your natural hair, your not hair natural hair, not professional. I mean, it's crazy. I understand, you know, I don't under, yeah, I can understand like about uh, how you dress. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, sometimes it's they the say. the same thing, yeah, they put you under the same category. But I don't think like your hair should, I mean, if you don't color it in a very funky way. Right, right. Like, why should people actually yeah. have some mm -hmm. issue with how yeah. you choose to yeah. style your hair? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the world we live in, guys. Like, people <laughs> actually want us to be like a uh, mm -hmm. homogenic society. Yeah. Oh, and not crazy. unique society, you know, in yep. a way that mm -hmm. we should... It's the same way Pato is not accepted in professional environments. What For example, mean? in Parliament, they're not allowed really? to speak Pato. I mean, people do it, but it's still not considered formal. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I always had a problem with that in high school. I was just like, that makes no sense to me because they, you know, Pato is our national language. Yeah. Why is it not considered in a professional setting where everybody can understand you? I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I've never been down this side. Yeah? So. Yeah. So we're exploring new places. Wow, look at that. I mean, guys, yeah. I think like this is one of the That's richest cool. neighborhood in <laughs> in Kingston. <laughs> and yeah, there is Cherry Hills and this one. Yeah. And Cherry Gardens, yeah. I think like in the past, those neighborhoods were not that rich, right? And it's become like with the time, right? Also, mm. Jack's Hills, from what people told me. I'm it's not cool. sure, honestly. I can't really speak much to the origin. I'm not sure. All right. Yeah. So, last question about it. You have a lot of work today when it's like that, your hair, or almost not? Like, it's like... None, because I, like I only touch it every three weeks. That's good. And it really should be once a month, but because I go to the gym and I work out so much, I do it every three weeks. Got you. Mm -hmm. And you wash it, like, every three weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so As washing said, is locks, like... you're supposed to leave it alone and just let it do its thing. So I put my hair in twists and the, sh the stray hair, I would just keep wrapping it around the lock. Just mm. keep wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. And that's how it came into this. These thick. So this is actually okay. one lock here. It's like a Rasta basically, right? Yes, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Rasta. Mm. I think like the only people really that have natural hair here, mm -hmm. most of the people is Rasta people. Yeah. Like Rasta women and Rasta men. Yeah. But Be the thing is, you know, one correction though. The picture I showed you of twists, right? Yes. You thought that that was extensions. Yeah, I was sure that that yeah. was extensions. So I feel like you think that most Jamaican women having extensions because you think those are extensions. And when really, that's them. their natural hair. I asked them. No, no, I asked them. Oh, you asked them too? Yeah, and they tell oh, me, no, okay. it's not my normal hair. It's oh, okay, okay. I think like, this dog is going to kill us. Yeah. Yes. And that's a dead end anyways. That end. Yeah. That end. Mm -hmm. That, I combined the, the dead and the that together. So I said yeah. that end <laughs> instead of the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now so, I know more mm -hmm. about. But I decided to get locks because it's a more permanent form of twist, basically. Low maintenance. Don't gotta do any. I just wake up and look like this. This is what most people tell me here because they tell me like if they, it's not their natural. Women, for example, tell me that if it's not their natural, if it's their natural hair, they will have a lot of work. Exactly. So yeah. they prefer the extensions. Even exactly. doing these things that look like extensions natural they said it's a lot of work it is yeah it is and i'm somebody who i like to do my hair myself and i think you know a lot of people don't know that but washing the hair and the scalp every day mm -hmm. it's actually not that healthy it's not good no and it's not strippy hair so and quickly. i but know guys with the straighter hair i can understand because their scalp produces a lot of oils all right so if they don't wash the hair at least every two or three days so their hair is gonna look wet with just oil really yeah so they wet. have to wash very often but but we don't get that because we we don't produce that much oil okay or at least it doesn't show if we do i think that also and this is something that also guys you need to know at home that when you wash that oil again and again and again every day the body produces more 
Mm. So this is like an effect that starts to develop in the body. Mm -hmm. So when you wash it less, so the body actually doesn't need to fight you in a way to produce more. So it balance. Mm -hmm. The system are more balanced in a way of producing this oil. Yeah. Yeah, because think people I think like think from the place, oh I should be clean, I should be mm -hmm. like I should smell good, but mm -hmm. yeah, you're doing something that is wrong. Yeah. And because those maybe shampoos that you buy in the supermarket has a lot of SLS and chemicals and exactly. all this kind of stuff that actually yeah, sulfate. Yeah. Exactly. That I'm glad you brought that up actually because a lot of people in back in the day people used to kind of look down on people who had locks because they assumed that they were just dirty because remember mm. i told you for locks you don't wash it more than more often than three weeks if you do it more often than two weeks you're not gonna have the best full locks okay you know what i'm saying they're so gonna spread they're gonna it's yeah, gonna, gonna ruin them thin. they're gonna get thin okay so you're not supposed to touch them more than once a month but for normal people that's nasty <laughs> you know what i mean that's, that's <laughs> yeah yeah dirty. yeah so but in like my mom's days she they they would look down on people who had locks who were like rastafari and they would just keep okay. their hair you know because it it's was a dirty associated, people yeah yeah associated with right mm -hmm. but i'm not an actual rastafarian okay so my hair is what they call fashion locks i just do it for style okay yeah and i also maintain it because most rastafarians leave it just leave it and it just does whatever it wants yeah i see but every that. month i go in and try to keep it neat okay you know yeah in order to maintain the shape and everything right yeah. mm -hmm. oh look at this hill so beautiful here mm -hmm. look at that guys we in jamaica again guys yes <laughs> made it police officer mm -hmm. maybe come to say to people go away maybe actually maybe yeah i see that they are already like going yeah. down it is, like, i think like much. yeah remember when we came they were loitering yeah they were yeah. practicing yeah they, they were loitering no, loitering. They were loitering okay this yeah. is loitering okay yeah 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 because they were just lying there and then just chilling you know okay so it's possible that they could have called the police uh, to be for like, oh, sure can you guys just <laughs> do a trip of hair, please? they are not listening to the signs here yeah make them go away please mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys i actually didn't know what is loitering yeah. this is the first time that i see it i mean i know this term in my language mm -hmm. but i didn't know how you say it in uh, english mm -hmm. so this neighborhood is full of these signs i will show you and uh we just talked about it off the camera that uh you know rich people doesn't like other people outside their homes Stop that. <laughs> no <laughs> absolutely no loitering guys this is the sign so yeah we are not uh, supposed to loitering around only walk just that way and back mm -hmm. uh, without staying too much at mm -hmm. the same place otherwise the neighbors will call and uh, someone will kick us out of here <laughs> Hi. all right guys it's a new day and I have to confess that I don't know, I don't feel, I feel a little bit confused today. I feel a little bit, um, um, let's say, my mind is very busy with a lot of thoughts. Just came here to Jamaica, you know, two days ago. And I feel like my thoughts are not organized, but I think the best way to fix it is actually to help someone. So I met Petrina here and I want to eat something. Petrina is right here and we're gonna grab some food together. Petrina, it's over there, right? Yeah, I'm seeing. You wanna come with me? Sorry, I'm not fast. My bags are open. Your, ba your bags are... So, okay, so what do you want? Curry? Curry and? On rice, you said? Yes. Curry. Rice, rice, okay, just a second. I, I cannot hear. I'm coming to you. Just, just a second. So what? 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 Again? Curry chicken and white rice. And white rice? Yes. You know, I think people missed you. Say hi to the people. Hi. 
and <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, um, six Linstones, Chris and Chefton and Ameth and Amduk and Amlet. Um, <laughs> okay, so white rice uh, and chicken curry chicken curry chicken and rice yeah but if you get um shrimps and rice it's all right no it's chicken it's better for you no don't you think like shrimps you know it's a cockroach Fry of, rice. it's a cockroach of the ocean <laughs> you know it's on the bottom it's yeah, like it's like doing all this eating all the crap on the bottom of the, i mean it's very tasty but it's crap okay. to eat i want you to eat as healthy as you can so let's let's bite okay no problem okay let's just cross the road guys and I think like the best thing that you can do for yourself when you feel a little bit bothered, you know, and your mind is not with you 100% is actually try to help someone. I think like, yeah, I think like it makes you, you know, like feel the best because when you give to people, it feels really good. So, so yeah, I just came back, you know, and Patrina, I believe like the money that I gave her uh, last time, it's already gone. So every time i see her so i buy her some food uh so i just came from the gym saw her and yeah uh, this is this is the restaurant that she was talking about chinese cuisine yes i think it's this one although she told me there is another restaurant over here but i think like yeah i think this is the this is the one i want chinese food i didn't know that there is actually restaurants here it's crazy hello is this is a restaurant is this a restaurant? Yeah. All right. So I can take for takeaway, right? No problem. Eh? I can take for takeaway, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want one dish of chicken, curry chicken and rice. And I want for myself, um, do you have a sweet and sour chicken? Yes, we do. Yes, okay. Do you have like black rice? Black rice? Yeah, like mm -hmm. wild rice it's called. You Fry don't know rice. what it is. It's Fry there. Rice? No. You don't have it. If you don't know no, what is it is. Okay, okay. So, where is the prices like of what I just ordered? So, um it's for 5980. 2990 for the purchase. 2990 for the chicken. So, how much it's total? 5, Okay, no problem. I can pay with a credit with a credit card. No problem. Okay. I never knew that there is it. Ah, it's the same restaurant over here, over there. Okay, I never knew that there is a restaurant here. Okay. Okay. Just a second. Let me put my face it's into face recognition before I do that. You know. Okay. So yeah, I never knew this is there is a restaurant here, but first time. You know, let's try the food. Okay. What is that? Vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging, yes. So, yeah. Yeah, but I'm filming myself right now. Yes, okay. yes. You want to be on the video? No. You don't want to be? You're going to be famous. You want yeah. to? Are you sure you don't want to? <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. So I, Ten minutes it will be ready? Perfect. Thank you very much. So yeah, I never knew that there is a restaurant here, you know? And it looks like a luxury one, but I don't mind, you know? Like, to spot, hey. I'm feeling myself, but anyway, oh, yeah. no, it's okay. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you just say hi to the camera, but you know. So, yeah, it's a fancy restaurant. I mean, every meal here it's around like 2,000 something, but like I said, I wanted to help. I wanted to help also myself right now. It's not just her. And I think like the best way to do that is really to get to the divine energy. This is the only way for us to really connect to the divine energy. So with all my thoughts and what is going on in my head, you know, because I had so many tasks today that I needed to do, you know, I had some things that I needed to buy, like water, alkaline water and uh, spring water. And I needed to buy some uh, fruits that I wanted for, for the morning because this is usually what I eat in the morning time. And I wanted to go to the gym. So I went to the gym and I wanted to, what I want to do more. Ah, I don't want to do it like a SIM card because I just arrived here. So I managed to do that as well. So I managed to do most of my tasks, but I still have some that I didn't manage to do, like the fruits and the water. Didn't do it yet, but some other things that I wanted to do. 
but yeah guys I think like this is the best solution that anyone can have and I just recommend it to all of you to do that they just wait for the food and then uh, go to talk to Patrina see what is going on with her see if she's still doing good and how is she's how is she today you know I hope she's uh, she's okay I mean she looks nice so let's hope that she feels nice as well okay we got the food guys let's go and eat I will eat with Petrina I have the fork yeah let's go okay that will be a nice afternoon Petrina let's go let's go and eat something okay so unfortunately you know the videos you know they were made by me for someone to really find the drink. Let's go. I will eat with you. Where do you eat? Where do you want to eat? Over there, the bus stop eating. Over there? No, this one. Where? This one? Yeah, the one. On this side, on this side. This side. All right, let's do it. So, I'm, I'm you know, the, the, these videos are made for someone that can really help her. That will find yeah, her. Yeah, my, my cousin is in the wheelchair across from the, the stoplight. His name is Glenn. He's amputated two legs. All he's and he's in them. Uh, he's the one that grew me primary school, basic school, and everything. So my mom died too late. I'm supposed to go with the father, but I don't like him. I saw you, you just. Yeah, my father is across the road in a wheelchair. Your father? He has no hand. Yeah. Your father? He's the man that grew me. That's my grandma and nephew. Really? Mm -hmm. So what, what do you need to do with him? I pray get some pampers because he sits the whole day to beg and sitting in the feces. He speaks English like you? Yeah, my Jamaican. Okay. Oh, only Pato. Just a second. Here, this one. This one? Okay, let's go. Over. So I hope like really someone, you know, that really can help her, but not, you know, not the, the traditional one with medicines and all this stuff, because I don't really believe in that kind of treatment. Yeah, they are my bikes. I think it's like can be solved in different ways. You just uh, have to write, find the right person. This is your stuff, right? Yeah. The right person, the right time. And I the hope bus like... Stop. So let's go to the bus stop. This one? No. Yeah, this is where I was sitting. So, okay. Where do you get a seat? Where do I sit? This is a little bit... Let's see. I think like... You have some chair for me. You have some basket for me. Yeah, let's. You have something inside. You need to share with me something, like only a chair. You know, it's it's temporary. I'm not gonna take it from you. Only if you have, oh. This one? No, but it's hollow. I cannot sit on this one. That's it. That's it. That, ah, okay, okay. Maybe put put. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. The the carton. The carton. Ah, it's not. It's, it's not gonna so... hold. No, no, no. It's not gonna hold. Okay. okay no problem. We sit on the on the ground. Okay. Let's do some card what? This one's hard. No, no, it's okay. Just... All right. Have you tried the food over there? Yes. Over there, before. Or is this the yeah. first time? Huh? Who bought it for you? Or you just bought it for yourself? I asked the security. I give it to someone and I think they gave me only one fork. No way. Only one fork. Okay. Ah, no. There are two. This is yours, right? Yes. What do they sell you in portion? What? They usually put it in one. The rice and the... But it's in two. Yes, it's a bit problematic, right? I think like you just eat it like that. What do you think? Rastafari. Rastafari. Yeah, and I like the omelets because I could afford eggs. I usually let's see, let's see how we do that, you know, with the rice and everything. Yeah, the one you don't want to go to that corner over there. Uh -huh. No, it's better here. Because I sleep here. 
You sleep here? Yeah, you just cut this and carve it. Slick no biting three. Okay. Make craft from it like statues and stuff. Wow, this looks good. This is a chicken. Let me show you that, guys. This is a chicken, lemon chicken curry. No, it's not curry, sorry. Sour, sour, sweet and sour chicken. And this one is Petrina. Is that? Tandoori curry. Yeah, tandoori. You're good in uh, Indian food. I didn't know that you know that much on Indian food. Do you like it? Yeah. It's good. It's a good restaurant. They have really good food over there. Let me put just something with the rice. Whoa, okay. Mm. <laughs> this is good. Do you enjoy? That is really good, guys. Really good. Everybody here, going with the cars, look at us, eating in the street. No, Bob, if Bob Marley would have seen that judge, he would have get the fire light and he make some cornmeal porridge. But this is a bit rice and some, and some meat. Mm. Mm. Chinese food in Jamaica, guys. That's good. Spicy. Mm. That's really good. Mm. All right. So, Patrina, how are you? How do you feel? First meal for the day. Really? Today. Tell me. When I was not here. It was good. It was all about you. No, but. Jesus to the people. I want to know you. Man. Did you have the money that you put in the restaurant over there? They Are helped you. Okay? Are you some of it? What is some of it? You have still some of it over there? Yeah, what's to do the price for it? So just a second, if you still have money over there, why don't you go and eat from there? Why why Where it's the first meal the of the day? What did what? Let's do the passport. The passport? No, don't focus on the passport. No, I Petrina. Should. No, 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 no. Take this money for food. The money was for food. Don't worry when about the passport. Like, Where did you get twenty thousand from? I'm like, I got it. What why did she care? Why does she care? Probably it's the first you see so much. I don't understand. The money is still there. How much do you have of it? Probably the same. Sorry? Probably the same. 20,000. You didn't take even one meal from her? No, I pay for it. I beg them buy food. So what do you mean? Why don't you take the money back to you? Because you to do the price was enough to get to the police to get a letter. No, that's not good. I it want is good. No, I want the money back in your in your pocket. The money was was the money was for you to to like yeah, to buy I'll food. Yeah, I do business with it, so I'll, I'll let her help me. Like she give me back. Are you sure she helping you? Yeah, she give me. She wanna give me back some clothes. She wants to give you. Why she doesn't give you? You because know. Because of you. Why me? Why? I don't know. She says she's not buying the weed of Obama, it's 1,200, it's too expensive. The rest of mm. I don't understand. Yeah, I was on a diet then, I hardly eat really. So I'm off in my ear picked out. I don't understand. You have the money, the 20,000 that I gave you. It's in that lady. I spent some and I begged her kept the rest. 
How much does she have right now? 20,000. So what I get her for the Christmas, I use it to get food. 100 US it is? Yes, so now it's still one, it's still 20,000 over there. So why don't you buy food with my it from her? It's for 15,000 and I'll hold up 5,000. But why don't you buy food with it? Why do you wait to eat with no... Until... I eat on a diet because I'm trying to save. I'm trying to economize because I had some help. I'm trying not to go too deep in it. Economize. I thought the money is going to you, you know? I don't want other people to have your money. You know, when I give you money, I want the money in your, in your pocket. I'm sorry. My purpose was 15,000 because I went down there because I went to Europe, England. It's lost, so I have to pay two times the. I don't know. Yeah, I used to live around by number six, Lingstone Crescent. No, Petrina, I want the money in your pocket. She could keep it, she's a good friend of mine. Are you sure? Yeah, she's kept me since 2008. She fed me, my mom died. She okay. Me food. okay, okay, okay. No problem. I used to live in our yard once. Okay, okay. No problem. Now I trust. No problem. Oh, the one with the bed? Not the one with the bed. Is she okay? I don't know. I don't she know. came back to say I was talking about the bed. What did you say about the bed? No, I didn't say that she you were She came talking. back to me and said, you're homeless. Thing. What did you say about the bed? I said, I wasn't saying anything. Because I told him it wasn't to give you. That was it. And I debated you take it back and said, she said, oh yeah. So she had someone with a fire and she gave it to the person. So I was like, yeah, she's okay. But she came back like she had beaten for the bed. And she said, did you tell me take the bed? You wasn't here though. It's all good. I forgot about her. I don't wanna... She wanted you to help her, but maybe she was too angry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about her. You so... know about her. You have her number. No, I don't know about her in but a she's way. she's gonna see this one again. No, I don't know about her in terms of what she did with the mattress, you know? I really hope... That was rude? I, no, yeah, it was rude in a way because she didn't ask my permission and she just took it to someone else and I, she told me she's gonna keep it at her place but in my perception, if she told me it went to someone that his house was burned so I tend to believe her and if it helps someone else so for me it's equal, you know? It's like... She had a fire victim and she gave it to a fire victim. Yes, so for me, if she gave it to a fire victim, so yeah. So I will make a, a long story short, guys, about the lady that took the mattress. She basically told me that she gave it to someone that his house was burned. That so, need more help than myself. So it was an emergency to get side to yeah. video them and give them some personal assistance yeah. as well. Yeah, and Petrina didn't really want the mattress. So for me, if it really helps someone, so this is, was the whole point of it, you know? So Really, we had a fight to share it though. So yeah. What, sorry? We had a fight to share it. I keep it or they have it. No, for me it was not a fight because you didn't it really want it. It wasn't meant to, but they came and they wanted to grab it because they needed it. Mm. So that was an accident. It's not what you call a fight. No, I don't call any, it's, I don't think it was a fight. But anyway, guys, we will just keep eating here our meal. And if someone there really know how to help Petrina, somehow, you know, just come here, just buy her some meal, you know, just do whatever you want, do whatever you can, okay? And if you can do more than that, I will be more than happy. Um, lesson to hospitalization, I don't, I don't know, and I don't want to, I don't want it for her. So, yeah, Petrina, I think like we're gonna uh, finish the last chapter of Jamaica right here, right now. Happy New Year! Exactly, Happy New Year, guys, and uh, yeah, I wish you all an amazing day. Happy Bob Marley Day, and February the hey. Exactly, and subscribe like share this video this is the most important thing share this video that everybody will know of about which i'll share with you petrina exactly and i see you of course on the next one from jamaica welcome jamaica